hi guys welcome i'm going to be talking about repeat grid in this video this is one of the most amazing and innovative feature in adobe xd with repeat grid you can easily create a list of repeatable elements and manage its style and content in the blink of an eye this feature is a really huge time saver especially when it comes to designing screens with list of repeating elements where you have to manage the styles and layout to work best for you so we are going to like look into the practical now so i cloned i just rushed a clone of facebook so we are going to like make use of repeat grid to create the status section on facebook so let's get started so first of all what, we, what i want to do first is create similar shape of this but i already have this what's the point so i can easily duplicate it i can just copy and paste it then shift or i can hold my alt and drag it side all right so that that so i would want to ungroup it of course it's grouped so i would want to ungroup it so i'm just gonna do Control shift g all right click and ungroup it all right so i will delete i don't need this of course i don't need so i can delete the individual element there so i i need this box so you can okay let me just do it from scratch so i can just come here i can just come here and drag as simple as that so i'll make use i'll make use of this to name for the naming i'll just call it um it's timothy or let's see mm, which name do i have in mind it's, it's isaac all right so we have this now okay so repeat grid is really 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 powerful so we we'll experiment that now first of all you want to make this text here white let's just make it pure white then drop down shadow then you reduce the intensity of the blur to around one percent then reduce the y axis to around one percent which is like what okay all right so let's bring up something so we have a series of pictures here that we're going to make use we have a series of pictures here that we're going to make use of all right so let's implement the repeat grid so first thing first let me just like set this here or let's put this here all right then put this here i just dragged and dropped i removed the outline the outline will still be there but just make it blue all right so that's that so we have the white text here and shadow on it actually all right so this is what the piece could do for you i will highlight everything and I'll group them together. When I group them together, I click on my repeat grid. Then I drag text out. That's simple as that. That's simple as that. Right. And just we can check the, the measurement. We, we can we can check the distance between this to this by holding your clicking on, on the particular element and hold your alt key and hold and hover it's going to show you currently I, I can see five five pixel so that's the distance between it so when setting the gap in i can actually make it five so it's accurate so that that you can increase it as as you want so let's just make it four I'll show you another trick. You can play there. Show you another trick. 
let's make it make it four so now this this one of the things you can do it's like one of the power of pp grid so all of this picture here i want to like change them so i already have set of pictures i want to make use of all right so let's look at this this picture this picture this picture this picture this picture so we can have four pictures then this picture so let's drag this is what happens and drop get to change all the picture for you like that's just really 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 cool that's cool all right so for this picture too you can also change it what do you do the same process basically just select your profile picture this 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 we are working with four this three this two all right so you can start from second one then boom so change okay let's just select plus this and drop it there you see this this is cool all right and the same thing with the text you can actually change your text so i created like a text file on notepad so what i did so let me open it so what i did I actually just created a list of text then you in indent it and put adams right so i save it i close it so what i can do there is that i can actually just drag this to the text and all my text will change that's not amazing so that's like one of the that's like what repeat grid can do for you i would actually want to like do more with the bid but it's gonna it's gonna make the video long so i hope this really helped so if you have any question or you want me to drop any video on any anything you have problem with regarding design yeah yet just comment below thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day